All right, so in this box, we have a 2000 watt 12 volt inverter. All right, looks like we got some cables and a remote on off switch. Let's see, yep. So it's a remote on off switch with a little aviation style connector. Here's the cables that it came with. So it's a, a dual eight gauge, 200 Celsius wire. It feels like silicone. Then we have a user's manual and a bunch of spare fuses. All right, and there's the inverter. So this is a 2000 watt, 12 volt pure sine wave inverter from Top Bull. So we've got two AC receptacles on the front side. We have a USB-A, a USB-C, a display, on-off switch, and then the, the place where we connect our remote on-off cable. And on the back side, we've got two fans and then the terminals. All right, so I've got the Top Bull 2000 watt inverter hooked up to the Orient Power 230 amp hour battery just to make sure we have enough power. I did go ahead and use their cables to see how they do. However, I would upgrade these to something beefier. And we're gonna go ahead and hook up this induction cooktop to it. Let's just see what we can do. Let's try to push this thing. Let's plug it in. Power it up. So right off the bat, we got the fans pretty much on max. We're not pulling any power yet. Okay, so it went ahead and shut the fans off. I guess that's kind of like a startup procedure. All right, so let's go ahead and turn this thing on. There we go, we're on max on this induction cooktop. It's showing 800 watts right here but this usually pulls more than that on max i wonder if it doesn't like this pot <laughs> there we go it likes that pot so we are pulling it's showing 1700 watts. Yeah, so I guess this thing's too, too thin. And uh, let's take a look at what we're drawing from the DC side. Yeah, so we're pulling 156.6 amps right now. Yeah, these are getting these are getting a little warm. All right, so let's try to use a combination of the heat gun and the induction cooktop and see if we can't get it to pull about 2000 watts so we can so we can try to max this thing out. We'll go here to the induction and turn it down. All right, so it's showing at 1094 watts. Let's try the heat gun on low. Okay, so we're showing 1753. I'm gonna up the induction a little bit. 1830. Let's go one more on the induction. Nine, there it is, 2029, so we're a little bit over, but it's, it's going, it's doing it. Let's check the temps on those wires. So we're showing 119, 120 Fahrenheit. 
Well, there's a hundred and about a hundred and thirty on that one. So the inverter is only 77. I'm just going to leave that there and let it run for a bit. All right, so it's been a good five plus minutes and it's it's cranking away at over 2,000 watts still, not missing a beat. Uh, it's saying 55C on its little temperature reading right there. But, uh, it's cool it's cool to the touch and the air coming out it's not it's a little warm but it's not super warm we're showing about 84 on the exhaust here and i got the app pulled up for the battery and it's showing we're pulling 188 189 amps now I will tell you this those are hot these are uncomfortably hot now so we're seeing about 160 on those wires <laughs> so yeah you're gonna want you're gonna want to beef these wires up but yeah we're still cranking over here are we boiling yet not yet All right, we got that boiling water going. We got that hot air right there and that boiling water. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna turn this stuff off. There we go. So the fans are still running in this thing to cool it down. Alright, so it's nice and cool now. The fans have died down completely. And it's just sitting there idling. So you can see we have zero watts coming through. So let's take a look at what our idle current is. It's showing 0.714. And that puts us in at about 9.5 watts idle. All right, so I want to plug in the kilowatt meter because I want to see if the display on the inverter uh, matches up with what this says. And of course the plugs are upside down, so this is going to be a little tricky. Okay, so we're showing 623 watts on the kilowatt meter and we're seeing 637 on the display. So pretty close. Maybe about a 10 watt difference or something. All right, so I wanna take a look at what's going in versus coming out so we can determine the efficiency of this unit. So let's put a load on it. And we've got, looks like 672 watts going out. And we've got 55, 0.15 amps coming in from the DC at 13.16 volts. So let's calculate that and figure out what the watts is. Yep, so it looks like we've got uh, about 730 going in and then 672 going out. Wow, so we're showing 92% efficient. All right, so we got the oscilloscope hooked up now, and we do have a pure sine wave. Looks really good. And on the fluke, we're showing 114.25 volts AC. All right, now let's take this thing apart and see what the build quality looks like.
All right, I got it. I uh, should have tucked the front panel off first. It's a little difficult getting this top to slide past this because all these wires are still hooked up. But anyways, there we go. Uh, there's the guts. Uh, looks pretty roomy in there. I don't see anything like really crowded. The wires are tidy. You know, there's all those fuses. Now I think, looks like they're soldered in. So if you did happen to pop those, you'd have to solder them. But it is nice that they provided new ones for you. All right guys, so I think that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. I'll put links in the description. Let me know your thoughts down there in the comments and I'll catch you on the next one.